I'm on day shift of all things, which I tried not to ever be on. Um, but I was, and I went to Starbucks as everybody does early in the morning and I get my cup of coffee and I'm like, this is all I want, right? Just some peace. It was Hayward. They're always busy. Um, I just want some peace. It's morning time, right? I'm going to be able to finish this cup of coffee. So I drive around the Starbucks and I park behind the dumpster. I'm trying to park behind the dumpster. And so I'm backing up, got my little coffee right here. I'm looking at my screen, still nothing on the screen. Back up, put it in park, take my coffee. And this is just all I want, right? It's like morning. I'm not a morning person. I'm a night person. I'm hating life. And I go to drink it and I hear noise. And I look and I went, oh, put my coffee down. There's a woman tied up. And she's being pushed up. She's nude. She's being pushed up. They're behind the dumpster in between a fence, like a solid wall fence and the dumpster. And he's pushing her up and he's punching on her. He's nude. She's nude. She's got rope around her. And I recognize her as one of our homeless females. That is a constant issue. But I recognize her in I put my coffee down and I pick up the radio and I'm like, all right, I, I've got an assault, possible sexual assault in, pro in progress. You know, send me some people. I hang up the mic and I get out of the car. I don't have a dog at this time. Um, I really wish I would have because I'd love for this guy to have gotten bit. But I go over and, and because he's actively hitting her, I have to separate them, right? And so as I go over, and, you know, largely as a cop, you to take care of business. I realize I recognize both of them. He stops because he's, he's always been afraid of me. I know him. And he starts to run from me a little bit. I tackle him down. I pick him up. He's naked. I throw him into the back of my car. And then she is, um, I won't say her name, though I, I want to. Everybody that sees this from Hayward knows who it is. Um, she starts fighting me. Of course she does. She's just a pain in the in the butt. I'm saving her, but who cares, right? So she becomes equally a problem. That case, which was him sexually assaulting and basically raping her, um, went on forever. And uh, ultimately, the DA, I had to convince the DA that she's not going to be a victim. She's going to be the worst victim in the world on, on the stand. She was the worst victim that at that time of the stand. And as much as you want to help someone, they don't want to be helped. So, um, that case went on forever. I got subpoenaed at least a dozen times on that thing. And it, it never went to court. Nothing ever happened between the two of them because she's crazy. And uh, yeah, and so that's my interrupted coffee and, and a reason why I don't work day shift. Um, I'm just like, <laughs> but that's Hayward for you.